Hi, it's Jamie here. I'm going to do a very quick tutorial on the pass through for the Glowforge. So first I'm in Silhouette Business, already open with a blank sheet, set up 19 by 11 so that I can match my bed of the Glowforge. I'm just going to do a very simple shape off to the left. Let's do a star. So I'm going to do a star and I'm going to make it bigger than the actual bed. So when you use a Glowforge pass-through, you can be taller than the 11. You just can't be wider than the 19. So see how I made my star to go beyond the 19? Okay, so I've got my star. Now, I'm going to cut it with the knife. So see, here's the knife right there. Let's say I want to cut it. I'm going to cut it right above this joint right here. So I'm just going to start off to the side and I'm just going to pull it across. One neat thing with Glowfort or sorry with Silhouette Business is you can actually make a level cut. If you watch this number right here, when it gets to zero, see how it's going down, 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 down. Oh, and it went away. That was at level. There's level. That's 0.024 inches under, and that's 0.24 up, but I'll keep it right at level. So now it's pulled across, and I'm just going to click. Great. Go up and get my selection tool, and I'll show you. I can pull it. Look, see, I can just pull the bottom half. Okay, so now I have a cut. So it's separated in half. I'm going to save that as a star. SV key. I don't really want to save it forever, so I'm just going to save it to my desktop star. Come down here, change it to an SVG. Okay, great. Now I'm going to go into Glowforge. I am super excited. I got approved for the beta program, so I'm able to use the new beta pass-through, which I haven't done yet, <laughs> but eventually I will. Okay, so here's the Glowforge app. I'm gonna pull up the star. loading. I'll tell you a little bit about the beta. I don't know how long they're going to run the beta program until they release it, but I do know that being approved for it, I'm supposed to do several cuts and send feedback after each cut to let them know how it's working. But in the beta program, you won't have to slice a project, which is lovely. You will put the project in to your system same way like I would just leave the star as is and so my computer's just waking up so I'm actually gonna sometimes when it gets stuck on uploading I just X out of that and I try to upload it again and it usually works sometimes I have to do this one or two times there we go okay so in the beta program you don't slice the project I don't know like for example ugh, See, I'm not sure. There we go. See how I can move the top? Okay. So we know that like with this, I'm going to select thick basswood so you can see it highlight red, cut. So see how this is gray because it goes off the board, right? Well, in the beta program, that will be just fine. You, would, you will turn on. Right now I have this pro pass through beta. I have to toggle that on and then it will allow um, my image to fall off the bed and still cut. So because you don't have the beta yet or the pass through upgrade, I am going to show you this way. So you would run this, right? You would run a cut. Then next step, now pretend you see a board here with this cut out, right? You'll sh manually shift that into your Glowforge by pushing it through the pass-through slot. And then you'll pull this one off because you'll already have it cut. And you'll pull this one down. 
now. You'll line up the past cut board with the star. You'll click ready, but before you actually push the magic button on your Glowforge, you will come back and make sure your image did not jump. This is where I struggle. So if it did jump, you'll cancel your print, readjust your star or your board, and click ready again. That is the thing. Now, it also is helpful to set focus. So you can come up here and set focus. The problem they're having with the pastor right now is getting these two pieces to line up. So that is the challenge. It will be fixed soon, hopefully, but until then, this is how you need to do. Now, if your image is super long, let's say you're doing a huge word, you want to measure in silhouette business, let's say it's a word that's like schneidenfrager, I don't know, I'm just making that up. You have to measure out, because this is an 11 inch span, right? So measure out like eight to 10 inches and cut, and then measure it eight to 10 inches again, cut. I do that a lot by creating a line tool. So I do a line and then I'll measure like, let's say that's <clears throat> seven. You can come up here, use your selection tool. It's 7.241, so let's say I want it 10 inches. And then I'll <clears throat> use this along my word to show me where I want the cut. So those are some of the tricks to work through pass through right now. Again, the beta program is going to be awesome. I'm super excited about it. I will say that I currently load from the front of the machine to the back, but in the beta, they're telling us to load from the back to the front. It just depends on how you want your item. Like the star doesn't matter, but if you're doing the words, you just need to follow along the cut the right way. So if you're gonna load from the back to the front, you would cut the front of the word first and keep working your way through, which makes sense. If you're gonna work from the front to the back, you would start with the back of your word as you push your material through. So I hope that makes sense. I know it's a little weird. If you have any questions, leave me a message. Have a good day.